We've been assembling the a deep dark paw robot, and a lot of it depends on the calibration of the servo motors. You'll need to plug the servo into your Raspberry Pi and set the duty cycle of the robot, uh, the servo, to 300. To first disable the initial software, after installing the dependency libraries, it'll, the um, installation of the Adip DARPA software would create a file called startup.sh on your home folder of your of the user. If you open it, you're going to receive this file, and inside there's a command called sudo python and the web server.py that it runs. You'll have to add a hashtag in front of it to comment out the entire line. This way, when you reboot your Raspberry Pi, it's not going to run this line here. So the web server.py will not run. After commenting it out, save the file and reboot your Raspberry Pi. Afterwards, you're going to have to write a small little script using Python to test your servo motor. I named my file servotest.py and if you open it with Thorny Python IDE, it's relatively simple. You import the dependency library, which is time for the sleep function and Adafruit PCA9685 to control the servo motors. You type this line here to get a handle on the uh, Pulse Swift modulator generator. You set the frequency to 50. 50 is the frequency of the servo provided by Adit. And I entered a loop where I would take the input from the user, two numbers, one for the server number and the other for the position and set use it to set the pulse of module ah. the pulse with modulated uh, freq, uh, generator well the pulse with modulated uh, signal and sleep for three seconds. This sleep for three seconds is important because it needs, for some odd reason, this function needs it in order to have a stable output of the servo position. Right now, we're just gonna run this code. So it says enter servo number and position. I plugged in the servo to number, the servo number zero. And to center it, just type zero spacing O. Numlock zero spacing and 300, which is the pulse width. Once you do that, you'll notice that the server will move to a position where it's fixed. You can set it to something else 400. or 200. 